This is Bose Quinn at GunBlast.com. I'm Jeff's little brother. I'm not Jeff with a trimmed beard or Jeff that's uh, 100 pounds heavier. I'm Jeff's little brother Bose, and uh, I usually am behind the camera, but I'm getting out in front of the camera to tell you about this neat little six gun that I've had for almost a year now, but it's really a cool little gun. It's uh, from Petter Soli, and it's their Doc Holiday 38 Special Six Shooter. It's a uh, it's a really neat little gun. It's it's nickel plated. It's built on the 22 size frame, so it's just it's a great little handy gun for the 38 Special cartridge. It's um, it's a six shooter, so it holds six cartridges, but it's um, it's on a smaller frame, same size as the 22 Colt frame. And it's just, it's a, a nifty little cute little six gun. It's got the bird's head uh, type grip on it. So it's actually a lightning type grip frame on it. It's got the little hump here. Makes it really nice to not roll up in your hand too bad. But it's a 38 special, so it's not going to kick you enough to worry about it anyway. I love a bird's head grip. Uh, not so much on a heavy recoiling revolver, but on a softer shooting gun, I just love the control of the bird's head. The, on, a, on a heavy kicker, say upwards of a 44 Magnum, it wants to roll up in, on you a little bit too much and it's kind of punishing once you get to Magnum level 45 coat loads and above. I've actually fired a 500 line ball with a with a, a bird's head grip frame on it and that thing was kind of painful. You're better off sticking with Bisley's for something like that. But on this one here, it's just wonderful for a little 38. It handles great, fills the hand up just right. It's a, it's a nickel plated six gun. It's got fire blue screws and a fire blue uh, ejector rod. Fire blue screws everywhere. It's got a five inch barrel on it, which is uh, it scaled to this size. It's more like a six inch barrel to look at. The ejector rod's also shorter, three and a half inch ejector rod, which adds to that appearance of the barrel being longer than it is. But it's a five inch barrel. It's a six shot cylinder. It's all nickel plated. The, uh, the, uh, Action on it is real slick for a factory action job. It's real slick. It uh, cocks really well, cocks real easy. It's the trigger pull on it. It comes in right at three and a half pounds on my trigger pull gauge, which is to me just perfect for a gun of this type. Uh, these are probably made more for cowboy action shooters than anything. Uh, I've, I've shot a couple of cowboy action matches in my life, but I've never really gotten into cowboy action shooting. Uh, you know all the you know all the little costumes you got to buy and stuff like that. I I can appreciate folks that do that, but it's just not really my thing. However, those of us who appreciate old west style guns, the single action revolvers, lever action rifles, uh, little coach style shotguns, and all that kind of stuff, we owe a lot to the game of cowboy action shooting. If it wasn't for those guys out there, there's a lot of people that participate in that. And if it wasn't for those folks, the folks that make the guns wouldn't be making what guys like me. Who'd, love the guns but don't shoot cowboy are really into this is where it's at for me this and this is a beautiful example of it. this would be great in cowboy matches because 38 is a light shooting little old load and it's um uh, it's not it's it's not going to beat you up or anything like that you shoot a bunch of a, a bunch of uh, cartridges in a match and it's a beautiful little gun it's a uh, nickel plated got the birds that go on the grips on it it's checkered the uh the the walnut grips are fitted perfectly. They're checkered very nicely. They've got a full checker pattern with a little DP for David Petersoli uh, here on the on the top of the grip. Just a beautiful little six gun. They're, they're great for, for whatever they do. Good little woods gun. And uh, mostly just to, to me anyway, just a fun gun. Plink around with them and stuff. The sights are not the greatest because they're the authentic old west style sights. You got a, a groove in the top of the frame and you got a just a little round nickel type sight sitting there, sitting on there, and it's all nickel plated, so it's bright, and you got to be in just perfect light to be able to see them very well, at least my old eyes. But these guns are fun, and fun is enough. I have a good time with this thing. It's a great little gun. They're available from Petersoli. They're available now. They have actually had this gun for almost a year. Shot it a bunch. Had a really good time with it. As you can see, it still looks just pretty much brand new. Uh, these are just really good little guns to have for whatever purpose you want to have one of them for. If you're a cowboy shooter, this will be just your thing. But if you just like shooting these kind of guns for fun, sitting around, just having fun with them, shooting at acorns in the backyard or shooting leaves off the pond or whatever, they're perfect for that kind of thing. 
These are from Petersoli and they're available now. It's the Doc Holiday six shooter. I've shot this little Petersoli Doc Holiday six gun with a wide variety of loads and it's worked well with all of them. Everything's functioned just fine. Everything's been pretty accurate. Uh, I've, I've used several different power levels from round nose lead, uh, 140 grain bullets to the to uh, full metal jackets to plus P plus hollow points of different kinds. Probably my favorite kind of ammo to use for this gun because like I said, it's fun. This is a very accurate and mild shooting load. It's from Double Tap Target. Now Double Tap, uh, we've used Double Tap Targets for many years, or Double Tap Ammo. We've used Double Tap Ammo for many years. And uh, it's always it always does great. Uh, Mike McNett at Double Tap knows what he's doing. He's running a fine outfit there. They make very consistent, very accurate ammo. Uh, but it's usually on the top end of the power scale. And uh, that's all well and good for what it is. But for a little fun gun like this, it's also a smaller frame. You don't want to beat it up all the time with plus P loads. This is a 100. This is a 148 grain hard cast wad cutter bullet. It's a full wad cutter, not a semi wad cutter, and uh, it's a very accurate load. It's a mild shooting load. It's um, it's a full wad cutter and it's a hard cast full wad cutter. Rather than the the wad cutters that most of us are familiar with, they've been making wad cutters long they've been longer than I've been around, but. Uh, they're usually made out of real soft swage lead. They can operate to the bore very well. These are hard cast. They're not going to give you any kind of leading problems in, the, in your guns. The bullets hold together really well on their targets. You know, they would probably make a good little hunting load. I haven't hunted with them and don't aim to because it's not really what I use this gun for. But uh, a wad cutter being a, a full caliber flat nose on the front of that thing, it would hit a, it would hit a live target really well. It, it would smack it really well. But that's not really what these are for either. These uh, we're double tap. Usually are running at the high end of the power scale. These uh, double tap double tap targets are uh, just as their name uh, suggests. They're made to be a target load rather than a hunting or a defense load or anything like that. Although they would be well pressed to use in either one of those ser uh, services. These clock at 875 feet per second. So and it's a 148 grain bullet. So it's a relatively mild shooting load. I have a lot of old Smith & Wesson and Colt revolvers that I like to shoot around from time to time, and I don't want to beat them up. And I want a load that's going to be good and accurate, and I want a load that's going to be soft shooting, both on me and especially on the gun. I don't want to tear my guns up using really powerful stuff all the time. The double tap target line is just the perfect thing. I've got 44 specials and 45 Colts that I shoot a whole lot use double tap targets in them too but my main thing i love about the double tap target is the 38 special 148 grain hard cast wad cutters they're great bullets they're great uh they're great cartridges they load them up very consistently they're very accurate they're mild shooting 875 feet per second or thereabouts and they're just they're they're a perfect load for a gun that that you you don't need the max power for but you do want max ac max accuracy and you don't want to have any problems with uh, with the function of the gun or it won't be too dirty or anything like that because these being a hard cast rather than a soft swage lead, you don't have the airborne lead particulate like you do in the in the softer bullets. Uh, uses a pretty clean burning powder and these are just a great load. I can't recommend them highly enough. Mike McNett and his folks down at Double Tap Ammunition have just done a great job putting these things together. The holster I've got this gun in, as you can see, is a... Uh, it's a chest rig. It's been around a while. This 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 holster I've had for over ten years. It was from Dill, the uh, Dillon, Arizona Territory line, which they don't make these anymore. They were made by San Pedro Saddle, Saddlery for Dillon, but uh, this was the Doc Holiday rig. We reviewed this a long time ago, and it was made for the little bit bigger frame coat, but it still fits this very well. It does a great job holding this in, and this is probably one of the more versatile holsters that I own. It's, it, it holds a lot of different kinds of guns pretty well. It's made for the Colt single action, but it'll also flex out enough to hold a Ruger. I've had double action Smiths in here. Works good. Uh, I go to the Shooters Holiday in Raton, New Mexico every year, and I wear this holster just about every day while I'm out there because whatever I'm wearing it with, it's pretty much going to work for it. Uh, how unfortunately, they don't make these anymore. 
I highly recommend holsters from my friend Rob Leahy at Simply Rugged in Prescott, Arizona. He makes some great holsters. I prefer a chest holster, a shoulder holster, because I'm a full-figured fellow. Wear a bib overalls about 90% of the time, so I'm not wearing a whole lot of belt rigs. And uh, I just I like a chest holster that holds the gun right where I want them. Right there where you can say, I'm your huckleberry. <laughs> But uh, Rob makes some great holsters for that. His chesty puller rig is probably my favorite because it's the most versatile. But uh, get a hold of Rob at simplyrugged.com and he'll make you whatever you need, whatever whatever fit for you. He makes a good holster at a good price. Since these San Pedro Salary Dillon Arizona Territory Doc Holiday rigs are not available anymore, I highly recommend Rob's work.